why Kyle Shanahan won't sell the farm for a quarterback. So I'm saying build up the offense, uh, st- stick with what you got at quarterback. Josh Rosen, Nick Mullins, a rookie, a vet who's cheap, that kind of stuff. I think Kyle Shanahan is going to go that direction as well. He may just stick with Jimmy Garoppolo. But here's why he's not going to go for Deshaun Watson or Justin Fields. He's not going to trade three first-round picks to move up for Fields. He's not going to trade four first-round picks to get Deshaun Watson. Why? Because of RG3. It all comes back to that. Kyle Shanahan, his father, Bill Belichick, Nick Saban, a lot of these coaches are really into power. I'm not calling them dictators. They're like – they see it as – like militaristic chain of command. It's a it's a it's a war game and I think they believe for their programs to have success they need to be the general with the most power and, and the players need to fall in line. That's what Nick Saban has at Alabama. That's why I don't think he's ever coming back to the NFL because usually in the NFL there's about 8 or 9 or 10 players on a team who make more money than the head coach and have more power in the organization than the head coach. Usually the, the quarterback is number 1 on that list. And what Kyle has um created here in San Francisco is, I mean, Brian Hoyer didn't have more uh, power than him. He's never drafted quarterback in round one. There's never been an RG3 type who comes in and takes over. And it's not that RG3 was his personality. It's just that's what happens. If you sell the farm for a quarterback, he's the most important person in the, in, in the organization. What he says goes. And Deshaun Watson's already showing that he wants more power. Kyle doesn't want to give that power up to players. Bill Belichick doesn't want to give that power up to players. Bill Belichick always treated Tom Brady like a six-round pick, and Brady took it, which allowed Belichick to treat other players like that. Um, Belichick la- like enabled – Brady enabled Belichick to have that coaching style. Other people have tried to copy it, like Pat- Matt Patricia. It doesn't work because, A, you're not Bill Belichick, and, B, you don't have a Tom Brady sitting there who's taking it. What happens – here's what happens. This is, this is Kyle Shanahan's worst nightmare. You're sitting around. Your dad's the head coach of the team. He's got ultimate powers. Like, this is a dream come true. One day, Dan Snyder calls you up and says, hey, guys, guess what? I love RG3. I assume you guys do, too. We're going to trade up and get him for you. What do you think? And Kyle says, what? what do you mean? You didn't even ask me. I don't like RG3. He's not the quarterback I want. I like this guy from Michigan State that we can get in round four better. Kirk Cut, I like him better. And, and Dan Snyder goes, what do you mean you like him better? You're wrong. I'm right. I'm getting you RG3. And Kyle's like, you're forcing me to coach this guy who I don't want, and we're giving up all our assets. Great. That's his worst nightmare. Imagine if Jed York called him up today, like, hey, you know what? We're getting you Justin Fields. Who cares? We're going to throw it all away and get you Justin Fields. We're going to trade five first-round picks to get you Deshaun Watson. That's his worst nightmare. Because now that kid is the best, is the most powerful person in the organization. And Kyle has carefully constructed everything in San Francisco that he's the most powerful person. He didn't want, he made that clear when he came here. He didn't want a GM telling him what to do. He didn't want the owner telling him what to do. He wants to run it like his dad, like he and his dad were supposed to run it in Washington. That's what's going on here. And that's why he's always into the guy, the mid round quarterback, the undrafted guy, the guy who works really hard and isn't, you know, isn't throwing his weight around the organization. You take a guy, uh, round one, Justin Fields, he's going to want input on the coaching staff or, the scheme it could happen sean watson will he's going to want input on the front office the scheme the play calling or what if he does that's what kyle doesn't want he wants kirk cousins to say what do you want kyle i can do that what do you want i'll execute it that's just how kyle is so if you guys are holding out hope for kyle shanahan to throw a bunch of uh assets at a player and make him the most powerful person in the Niners organization keep waiting it's not going to happen the Niners aren't going to do what the rams did and if you don't like that, that's that's your issue with Kyle. It just is. I'll be shocked if he takes a quarterback in round one this year and trades up for, trades for Deshaun Watson. He's not going to. He's not going to. 